Well, ahead of the Lok Sabha polls, the Congress has sprung many surprises in its Rajya Sabha nominations today, with party leaders insisting that this is all a well-thought-out strategy. Among the more interesting choices is Sanjay Singh from Assam and Kumari Shelja. A series of controversial Congress Rajya Sabha nominations today. The most intriguing is fielding Sanjay Singh from Assam. Many in the Assam Congress are unhappy at an outsider being sent to the upper house. But the party seems driven by bigger political calculation. There were reports that Sanjay Singh, a sitting MP from Sultanpur, was ready to defect and contest from Ameti, Rahul Gandhi's constituency, on a BJP ticket. His Rajya Sabha nomination is being viewed as a way of buying peace and avoid a multi-cornered contest between the Congress, BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party. मैं लोकसभा सांसद हूं अभी भी अभी भी है सुल्तानपुर से हमें वो काम मिला हमने वहां पर चुनाव लड़ा हमें आदेश हुआ राज्यसभा में आना है हम राज्यसभा के लिए हम तो डिसिप्लिन सोल्जर हैं जो आदेश होगा वो करूंगा कांग्रेस या राहुल गांधी अगर अमेठी के हर गांव से भी एक सांसद बना दे तब भी वो अपनी हार नहीं टाल सकते देन यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर सोशल जस्टिस कुमारी शैलजा रिजाइन आफ्टर बीइंग नॉमिनेटेड Accompanying her, ironically, was a bitter rival, Haryana Chief Minister Bhupinder Hooda. There's talk of her becoming the party's state chief at a time when Hooda is facing anti-incumbency, as well as an energized Ahmadmi party. The third nominee, Digvijay Singh, had said he was keen on contesting Lok Sabha polls to end his 10-year exile as a legislator. But after the party's rout in Madhya Pradesh Assembly elections, chances of winning might have diminished. While the Congress may be working to a plan of sending seniors to the House of Elders and bringing younger faces to Lok Sabha, Sanjay Singh's nomination has certainly become controversial. Many are asking, is the Congress trying to find an easy way out for Rahul Gandhi? In New Delhi, Sandeep Pukan, NDTV.